Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Roxanne, and today I'm super excited to be unboxing Ipsy. I ordered so much stuff, they sent me a huge box. Um, I haven't opened it yet, I just removed the tape, so we'll go through it all together. Uh, just to let you know, Ipsy is an American um, beauty um, and makeup and skincare subscription. It, um, the basic bag is $12, you can get up to five add-ons. Um, the add-ons are between uh, 12, um, I, apparently they're now uh, getting Lux items for $18 and then um, large full size items for 12 and sample sizes for three, including brushes, which is pretty awesome. Um, I've stocked up on a lot of brushes <laughs> from Ipsy and I really, really like most of them. I have to admit, they're pretty good. With that being said, if you use my link, I get some char or points, not charms, uh, some points, some Ipsy points, and I can use those to buy um, different items. I just believe I ordered uh, the Madison uh, and Afra Collab blush. So I'm super excited about getting that next month. Um, it is $2.95 to ship to Canada. Uh, with Ipsy, they do charge you the first. Um, come the second, you have to, if you're up, and you're ready to go, uh, log on to the app. I believe it's about 6.30, 7.30 here in Canada, and you can choose up to five full-size add-ons, and then it takes a little bit. They pack your bags and they send them out. Mine was sent out actually pretty quick this uh, month, but apparently Canada Post did not want to move my box. It took them uh, two days to get it. It took them three days, or it took two days sitting in Mississauga. And finally, it is here. So I'm ex super excited. So let's get into the box. Let's see what I have here. Oh, before I forget, I'm also going to be doing the giveaway for the um, Look Fantastic box as well. So stay tuned for that. Oh. So I can't even remember what I ordered. Oh, okay, so it looks like everything is there. Um, so here's the bag. Oh, I'm so excited. So the first item, uh, let's pull this out. Okay, so I'm gonna put that up there. So it's called The Wild Side this month. Oh yes, as well as on the 25th of November, you're gonna be able to log into your account and you're gonna be able to choose one of your uh, items in your bag. They'll build the rest around it while you're there. Snag our Ipster exclusive gift sets win-win, which is probably more for the Americans than it is for us Canadians. Black Friday is eleven twenty nine, And our limited edition six item mystery bags go on sale, but go quick. These act fast as well as uh, 12 2 which is Cyber, Sun Cyber Monday uh, add-ons. Okay, so these are all um, in American prices though. They do not give me the prices for these items so um, I don't know what it is so I was just going to put on a, a bare face today and why do I always have issues with these like come out Sorry. so this is how did I manage not to get that in there so there is a little mirror which is nice so this is Gigi Gorgeous, the only blush. So let's see here. Not that brush, not that brush. I want this brush. So we'll just add some on top, right? That's fine. So like I was saying, I was going to do that, but I just couldn't. I don't think it even came off on the brush. Okay, so I'm having a bit of a difficulty with blushes lately. So that one's really kind of hard. I'm kind of surprised about that. So anyway, I will try that out and let you know. I was kind of excited to get this. It seems like a really nice color. So there it is. So um, where am I putting this all? Like, Okay, so there it is. It says in here, name for YouTube personality, author and activist, Gigi Gorgeous is a limited edition and Ipsy exclusive collection of essentials to get you glowing on your own terms. This pink pearlescent gold fleck blush delivers a subtle wash of color that builds beautifully. Swirl your preferred blush brush in the 
Then this pan, top off excess and dust powder onto the apples of your cheeks. So anyway, all right, let's, oh, and I just dumped everything into the bag. All right, so the next item I see is Visanti here. Um, this is actually made in Markham, Ontario, which actually is not too far from here. So I'm super excited about that. I do like their stuff. I love their concealer brush. It is one of my favorites. And here it is here. And it is, it needs to be, it needs to be washed. Okay, so this is packed with raspberry peach kernel pomegranate oil and jojoba oil. This gorgeous gloss delivers a burst of yummy moisture combined with super rich colors. Super Mom is a super, is a soft universal pink shade with a light sheen. Okay, so let's, oh, here we go, okay, so get a wipe here, yeah, so I'm not, I kind of forgot I was getting this, see, I wasn't going to put any blush, any eyeshadow on, and then, yeah, that didn't happen, obviously, and look, how do I get it all over my face, never mind, That's still over my face. So, this is a really super cute color. Ah, uh, it is so, it sm smells good. Kinda actually smell, now I'm getting a smell of like a 90s, 90s lipstick. I don't know. It's like, like it's hugging my lips right now. It feels really nice. I actually really, really like that color. It suits me enough. I don't get it all over my face. All right, so that is definitely a win. Okay, so let's see what else I got in here. So this is the item I picked. Now I heard people had complained about it. Do you see how super tiny that is? But I'm going to try it. So it's Ultra Repair Oats and Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil. Okay, so here it says this an an I'm not even gonna be able to say the word now. I don't know why. So it's a facial oil formulated with a blend of 16 cold pressed active botanicals, including cannabis sativa seed oil, which is rich in omegas, fatty acids, and colloidal oatmeal which relieves dry reactive skin together they work to calm and soothe dry stressed skin twice daily after cleansing apply two or three drops under the palm press into face okay use alone or add two two drops to moisturizer okay so that's interesting so i go for laser treatments i go for one on friday so i'm going to be trying that afterwards because my skin like my on this side gets super stressed like Oh, and it gets dry and itchy and it gets irritated. So I'll be trying that after. And I'm kind of excited about that. I will I try it with the, I think I had the Fab cream upstairs. So, okay, so this is one thing I have gotten before. Um, I don't know if I've gotten it through Ipsy. This is the Cosmetic It Cream. I believe I actually have like a full size upstairs. I'm not sure. I think it was a boxy charm. Um item whether it was like uh if you signed up you got it anyway so it says wondering where your glow went find it in the super cream from it cosmetics it's made with collagen vitamin e hydraulic acid chloral oatmeal what is that i have to look that up and find out what it is exactly shea butter and a super ceramide complex to hydrate plump nourish and calm your complexion for Best results apply pea size amount of moisturizer to clean face in the morning and evening. Use upward sweeping motion, soothing gently into face and neck. So that's interesting. Okay. So then. The next item I got was this brush. I'm. Uh, blush for all season. It's a Brio Gushy eyeshadow eyeshader brush. I like how short it is. It's like really, really short. Um, I like it because then you can have more power. So it says create a subtle, create subtle to smoky 
eye looks with this versatile eyeshader. Okay, onto your eye crease and smudge liners along your upper and lower lines. Ooh. So actually I am I'm wearing ColourPop the lit one. Lit. And I really, really, really like it. Um Okay, so that's what I'm wearing on there. Um, so I'm, I love brushes. We all know that. So this is super exciting for me. I don't think I have anything from them. So, okay, so let's get to my add-ons. So this is a $3 add-on. Yeah, $3. This is like my favorite cream. I wear this at work and all the girls are like, who smells so yummy? And I'm like, me. This so awesome I really like the um, cocoa cabana cream which is kind of odd because I do not like coconut <laughs> right um, this smells uh, more to the buttered popcorn for me um, but I do like because it's like a, a water base sorry it's a, it is an oil oil and water body cream so I find it very light but very hydrating and um, there are moments when I find that like I sweat a lot, especially at work, and I find this makes a barrier so that even though I'm sweating, I'm not dried and greasy and gross. I feel very hydrated once I stop sweating and I get out of the the, the booth that, that I work in. And um, I use this like maybe like once every two or three days, and I find that uh, it works so well and you don't need a whole lot like this little jar will last me two three four body you know washes just depends on our you know body washes but body lotion time just depends on how much I want on how much my body needs so anyway if you haven't had a chance to try this I highly suggest it even if it's just another one uh, of their creams I have all three of them I love them all the Akia is so nice but it leaves a nice glitter so I forget like and I'm like why is there glitter all over me and I'm like so right now I'm using that one but I do have like a little box upstairs and it's full of their creams and I love them so the next item I see is Grace and Stella blackheads are no fun but removing them can be so I kind of got this for um this was three dollars by the way so I kind of got this because my son has really bad blackheads so maybe I'll do that with them this weekend and if you can believe it my boys are going to be 16 and 15 this weekend where does the time go where I don't get it like it feels like it was just bringing them home yesterday and let me tell you having a two-year-old going through her, her two-year-old phase and a 16 year old going through his 16 year old phase and a 15 year old I'm surprised I don't have stocks in a wine store and a wine place so I, I will definitely be trying that this weekend um, and I will let you know now with this, I have, so there's a slight issue with these. Um, I know when uh, Bjorg came out with the nose strips, and one of the things it says is don't apply it to your, um, to birthmarks. And I was like, what? So I have never really used them. Um, it says do not use every day. We rec recommended using every two weeks. So it doesn't say that I can't put it on there. So I will try it. I probably will probably like avoid that area. Um, I don't tend to get blackheads on this side of my face. So I'm okay with that. Okay. So the next item I got, like I said, I love Visanti. And I really love their concealer buffing brush. So I got a chance to buy the exact same one again for $3. So, and it holds up pretty good, like, uh, except for right now, because it's like, so anyway, uh, I really like this brush, it is soft, it is durable, it washes really easy, it does the job, it, you know, I did it under there. Um, I really love it. Again, this is something that I would definitely say to go out and get. And if I didn't love this enough uh, so much, I'd probably be giving it away. It is a really good brush. And if it goes on in the Ipsy again, I will grab it and I will give it away. Alright, so now those are the $3 items. And I decided to get through my eyes. 
and the No Bed palette. These were $12 each. <laughs> These are American prices. I was gonna look up the Canadian prices. I was actually gonna look up the, the original price and all this. And I have a two year old. That's all I have to say. So, this is really, really cool. I actually have some exciting news to, to, uh, to tell you as well. So, I'm, uh, look at those colors. Look at those colors. Oh my. Oh. Okay, so. I'm drawn to these two colors and this color here, but with this um, palette that I was just using, I don't know if you can see, there is a bit of yellow in there, and I really, really like that. I am going to definitely be trying this emerald green with this moody color. Oh. Look at that mesmerized. I am completely mesmerized. I, I was gonna do a swatch of this, but I think I'm just gonna wait. I think I actually might even do my own video on this and like trying it the different colors, swatching it. I'm not exactly sure. Um, it is just so pretty that, uh, uh, I think I could use every single color that's on here. Like, look at this flex. This is really nice. This reminds me of the, um, the dark color from the dark <laughs> the dark color from um the, yes the celestial thunder in the black is that black water or black matter black matter right. so yeah my makeup desk is just off to the screen here i show it to you but it is such okay, okay. so there's that one. Okay, I'm gonna put all this stuff back in here. Oh, back in here, back in here. So I can see why it took so long to get to me because, you know, moving a box is really hard for Canada Post. No big pink box. So let's try the Nomad in Berlin. I believe I might have. Okay, so this was designed in Berlin, Germany, but it was manufactured at Labs, Nomad Labs in China. So this is a, a German company, so that's kind of interesting. Oop. Oh. Wow. So it does say on here, look at that. Those are even more gorgeous in person like you can't even see this one because the light is like no the light I'm trying to get is it gonna nope nope wow <laughs> so these are actually in um what i would imagine like some of the the names are actually in in German. So here it says Berlin destination and uh, it's inspiration is underground. For 28 years, a subculture of resistance and opposition grew in a city divided. Politics, art, and music all intersected for the rebellious youth fighting against the establishment. Not presidents, prime ministers, nor monarchs can make the difference. In the end, it was from humanity that the wall was built and the wall came down. So um, my grandfather's actually uh, German, well, was German, he's uh, passed away. So this will actually hold a very, very special spot in my heart. These colors are absolutely gorgeous. And I love the fact that there's actually skulls in them. I'm not, I'm not a skull person, but I do enjoy the fact that these have skulls in them. I am a horror queen. I love my horror movies. I know that's, weird to say but uh but these colors are so gorgeous that I cannot stop staring at them so I'm not going to swatch these because I am going to do a separate video for these um so keep an eye out for that like these colors are so gorgeous I just want to like wash all this off and get into this but I can't and I won't right now but these 
are stunning. So if you didn't get this, keep an eye out for it. If you, you know, like if you're looking for somebody to grab it, like if somebody's selling it, I would definitely say grab it. It is gorgeous. It is, it's a lot of sheen, a lot of sparkles, but I think um, a lot of these colors could be mixed. It, like um, even the black here, like the, the love parade, I mean like, Look how gorgeous that purple is. Like, that is a purple I have not seen. And yet these two colors look like they could go together, even with a bit of this one. Um, but it was funny because I, when I saw it, I knew I wanted it, but I didn't, like, the colors look very different online compared to what I see. And I was like, oh, why did I get that palette? It's so dark, it's not me. But you know what, I'm gonna make it me. I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna give it a go. <laughs> this gold here, it says poor but sexy. <laughs> oh, excuse my nails are kind of, it's been a long day. So there's Hansa, there's Clubberknock, Arnstrobeb, Chaotix, Deutschpunk, Helden, poor but sexy, Tuckless, Lover Parade, Tickno, East Side Gallery, The Wall, SO36, and Kernsberg. I probably messed those up. In my head, they sounded a lot better. But anyway, so this is 20 minutes into this video, and I could honestly spend another 20 minutes just staring at this. I am so in love. It says, special edition for Ipsy, not for sale. I didn't realize that. I had no idea. So um, I know I made sure I was up early. Okay, yes, the... Yeah, it was a Saturday, so I made sure I was up early. Or maybe my daughter made sure I was up early. Um, Saturdays are usually my day to sleep in, but because we work in a car manufacturing plant, parts plant, sorry, uh, we make the parts, not the cars. Um, as we head into the end of the year, it tends to get a bit crazy. Um, so we do a lot of overtime, so I'm sure that I was probably the one needing to get up with her, so. Anyway, I thank her for getting me up and making sure I got that palette because it's absolutely gorgeous and stunning. Okay, enough about the palette. Let's get on to the giveaway for Look Fantastic. So all I asked was that you guys say that you wanted this, this box oh excuse me oh excuse me i'm going to bed after this so i have it here um it says enter the youtube video so i did this said amount of unique commenters was 18. if it does not have the hashtag giveaway i will not be i will draw another name uh only because i wanted to make sure that the people commented wanted the actual box so let's see here Winner, Francine Hiscock. Giveaway, so glad a fellow Canadian loves subscription box as much as I do. This is one I've never tried. So Francine, if you can get a hold of me either um, through Facebook or through uh, Instagram, um, send me your address and I will package this up uh, either tomorrow or the next day and I will have this out for you. Um, I can't thank you guys enough for watching. Um, I was hoping to have more comments. I was hoping to have about 50. So that's my next biggest step is trying to get some more comments, more people uh, interactive in this. Um, I can't thank you guys enough if you have watched this. I will start making a little, maybe some more videos. It's really hard right now. I'm trying to do as much overtime as possible. I'm trying to get money to pay for these boxes because I do pay for them all myself. Now, if you do si want to sign up for Ipsy and you do use my link, I can't thank you enough. Again, I pay for all of my own boxes. Um, with Ipsy, I do get some points. Right now, I would get enough points to get the T um, palette, which I already do have, so I would use it for something else, let's say. Um, but that's just a special promotion running right now. Um, as well as I keep promising you guys this thousand box, uh, thousand subscriber giveaway that is on slate for this weekend. Maybe I will uh, do a couple videos this weekend and put them out this week. 
Um, I need to brush up on my editing skills and get into that as well. With that being said, if you guys could try to like and share and comment on my video. Let me know what you think of the two palettes I bought. What you think of my bag? Was it worth it? I know I didn't really touch a whole lot on the bag and I know this video is going into half an hour so I can't thank you enough for watching this and have a great night. Take care.